And welcome back to another Sydney Do Live tutorial where today we talk about high adventure at Camp Sydney Do. Just a quick tutorial and run through, uh, plus the full interview with Brad Pluger, our Eagle Scout guest from uh, last week's Sydney Do Live episode, where we talk about all of the high adventure programs coming up the Dew Mountain Extreme program at the Okoe campus, the Dew Mountain Rivers taking place at our Nanahala campus, the Dew Mountain Challenge right out of Camp Sydney Dew. Whitewater rafting on Wednesdays, Cope, Climbing Merit Badge, a lot of other things going on, but High Adventure is the name of the game today on today's Sydney Do Live tutorial. So stay with us as it starts right now. High Adventure is a big part of Camp Sydney Do's, um, uh, uh, I guess, collection of programs, 50 plus merit badge and advancement programs, including our first year camper program called Spike Buck. But High Adventure is one of the key components that we've added this year uh, to, uh, to, to appeal to our older scouts and adults in the audience. So stay with us as we walk through all of the High Adventure um, activities going on at Camp Sydney Do, there's something for everyone. So this episode isn't just for the older scouts, stick with us. A couple of news and notes in, in the announcements here on this slide. Um, whitewater rafting is online. Online registration for that is uh, for Wednesday raft trips is up now. It wasn't before, it is now. And you actually do that on your Tentaroo, just like you're signing up scouts for a merit badge. So you'll have to go back into each scout and actually click on and sign up for the white Wednesday whitewater rafting trip, uh, which will be available now in their, um, in their menu of items. So uh, in, in the show rundown today, and if you want to skip ahead, first up, coming up right after this slide is the full interview with Brad Plugger. Some of you saw that on the Sydney Do Live episode this past Sunday. Uh, but the full interview, and, and again, um, uh, apologies for the, it's got some uh, not so good audio um, from, uh, on Brad's side of it, but, uh, um, couldn't be fixed in the, uh, in, in the, uh, outtake of it, but he does cover some, um, important information that I think you'll want to know. And he kind of walks us through and it's, uh, if you can bear it, uh, and, uh, if you can live with it, it's actually really good information to stick with and, and, uh, get down following that we take a deep dive into the Dew mountain challenge trek and all of the things that you need to know about going on the Sydney Dew, uh, Dew Mountain Challenge Trek uh, and a couple of the other um, high adventure programs going on in, in uh, treks. But it, it, there's not, it's not gonna cover a packing list. If you're looking for that, we're gonna do another episode about how to pack, not only for Camp Sydney Dew, a week at Sydney Dew, first time campers, high adventure and trek participants. We're gonna have a full episode that just covers, uh, uh, probably a Sydney Do Live tutorial that just covers how to pack for each one of those and including a packing list going up on the website uh, on the summer camp page. If you don't know where the summer camp page is, by the way, follow it on our link tree here to the summer camp page. It's located at nwgabsa.org and uh, click on the red box. It says summer camp, scroll all the way to the bottom. You'll find all of our downloadables uh, and tips and information that you need to know uh, about summer camp. Uh, next up is our special guest, Brad Plugger. If you're joining us live on YouTube, feel free to throw uh, questions down in the comments and we'll answer them live at the end of the broadcast. Uh, but we answered a lot of questions about High Adventure on the High Adventure episode of Sydney Do Live uh, this past Sunday, which is rebroadcasting now on our Facebook page. So take a look at that. Um, and here's our interview. Well, wh welcome to the show, uh, Brad Plugger from Whitewater Express, who will be handling two of our ex uh, adventure treks for Camp Sydney Do. And we brought him on a special guest here, had a chance to sit down and chat and ask just a few questions about uh, some of the treks going on. And the ones that Brad will cover is, well, he'll, he'll two of the treks and also let's talk about whitewater, uh, whitewater rafting on Wednesday as well, if we can, Brad. Um, but the two are the, the uh, Dew Mountain Extreme and the Dew Mountain Rivers program. Uh, and he's gonna talk about both of those. You refer to the Extreme program as Ultimate Zone. It's perfectly okay for our guests if you call it that today. Uh, as your in-house uh, name for it, but for the ultimate zone, it, describe to us, you know, scouts get picked up at the Hubs reception hall um, at Camp City Do on Sunday night, and they're carted off into no man's land. Where do they go from there? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
let's talk about um what is it uh mountain express program? yeah i'm gonna keep the uh the name here um but we're gonna talk about that program first that program is based out of our Coe camp which is right on the border it's literally on the border of tennessee north carolina uh just north of georgia Okay. Uh, we have 250 acres there. Um, 80 of it is actually in North Carolina. The remaining acres is actually in Tennessee. Right. Um, and they will be up on that camp. Um, that's where everything is based out of for that program. That program, we pick you up at the city do, and then it, whether you have one spot or you have 50, we'll pick you all, bring you on in. Then you start in. Uh, that Sunday, we do an introduction with everyone and kind of get everyone settled. You kind of meet everyone, and then you kind of uh, get them all set to their cabins. And then they go to the for the night. That Monday, we, we start off right early, you know, we'll hot breakfast and we cook in our dining hall for them. Then yeah. we go off with the tender center right now. We're going to do horseback riding. First thing, uh, right after breakfast that morning. Then we have low ropes to kind of do some group, count, uh, group team building. Then they go on and have lunch. Uh, that, uh, right after lunch, they go out and do some mountain biking on our property. Then we uh, do some more group games with them. Uh, I think we're doing volleyball tournaments first day. Oh, okay. Then they uh, go on. We have a nice hot dinner at the dining hall. Um, then we actually do a little bit of orientation. This is always the fun one to see how well they learn their skills. But we do a big orientation challenge on our property. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that evening, we have to do a campfire with them all to get them all together and kind of go through the day. That's some fun with them. And okay. Then, but they're still not exhausted by the end of all this. We actually do have to do like an adventure movie. There's a theme like whitewater climbing. We do a different movies each night just to give them something else to watch. Mm-hmm. So we really make sure that they stay active the entire time. They're not That's just great, yeah. sit on our camp and just do nothing. We want them to stay active. We want them so tired they can't stay to the movie. That's okay. I, I got to go to the Okoe camp once to do the... Um uh, to do the, uh, it was called Ultimate Zone when I went through it too, uh, when, when we were uh, uh, trying it out with some of our scouts. But um, it, so they, they're going to do the horseback riding and the mountain biking probably on the first day. And then when, when do we get to, what What are some of the, uh, do they do a backpacking trek also? It's not a full backpacking trek. Um, mm-hmm. We found uh, that that's had some issues in the past and the adult meters can't quite put that anymore. Oh, yeah. Oh, so adults can go on this too, then. That's good. Yes. Yep. Um, All right. But what we do is um, we have to do a day hike, but the next day, Tuesday, we get them up early. We have breakfast at our dining hall. And then we kick, kick them all over to Atlanta Hamlet Camp. So okay. And then we live there on outside of Andrews. And then we do a fully guided trip down the river. We do a first trip lap down the river. And then we go out to the Atlanta Hamlet Camp. And then we have lunch with them. And then we have some group team building. And then we have some group team building. Then we have some group team building. And then we send them down the river again. But this next time, we also then with the scouts try to guide them and try to learn what it's like to guide with our guys in the boat with them. And we try to do some training. That's a big part of what we do that day. Then um, we bring them back and then they actually uh, have dinner at a camp that evening. And then really all of the guys, I know if I do two trips a day, I'm exhausted. But, yeah. uh, but we go out and then we have to have some more big games. If they're still there, we'll do some ultimate frisbee with them. That's another great day. And then we actually end up a little campfire, just everyone talking, going through the day and see what we did. And then we have like that, and then they're going back. Yeah, that's awesome. That's now, um, I heard you say Frisbee. They, they do still have the, uh, last time I was there, they had the, it was really popular with the group that I went with, the disc golf course. Do they have that? Oh, it was really... a full 18-hole disc golf course. Oh, wow. Okay. Yep. And that's on the, on the older part of the camp. We haven't extended it up into the Eagle Rapids, but that is in North Carolina. So. Okay. Uh, yeah. So that uh, if if you haven't done that, or if you have your own discs, by the way, pack them and bring them because there's a it, it's it, it's a really fun. The part that I got to do of it was a lot of fun. It goes all over the whole camp, doesn't it? Well, yes, it does. It goes all all right. Over the property and have that yeah. So, and I think we didn't mention that in the guide in our guide, but just making sure our viewers know, hey, that's uh, that that's like it was one of the most popular things yeah. <laughs> of, of all the fun activities they get to do. All right, well, so yeah. all right, take us through the rest we of the week. We start with this, and we do, and we'll probably mix them out soon with the video. So we can do it. We'll make it work. Oh yeah, great. That's good. 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 Okay. Okay, and then Wednesday, then we wake up, have some breakfast, and then we go on a hike. This is the hike we're talking about. This is the hike we actually do what's called Boys Gap, which is um, that if you look at a map, it's where U.S. Um, 64 cuts down towards the Atoli River, but there's actually a hike from up at the gap, and we can take them down and they take them down to a copper road down to a place on the upper Atoli. 
But the other feathers in the roof oh. become run. You know, so they're not releasing water. So it actually becomes a swimming hole. Oh wow. You know, some of the biggest white water in the southeast is actually where you a great place to go swimming called Blue Hole. And that's actually we take them out swimming there. Oh, I stand in one of those swimming, have lunch, and then we hike them out from the trail. So they get to go see me go and get in it. And then nice safe place to do it. Oh, that's good. Okay. Yeah, that's one of the highlights of the week. I really love that trip. But yeah, that's different than when I I think we hiked in uh, in the Nanahala Forest when I did it. Uh, yeah, we did the Bison Trail, and mm-hmm. it's uh, a great trail, but we just, um, we had some yeah. issues with no, so oh, that's good. good. Yeah, so that uh, t- this sounds really fun and exciting. I'm hoping we get uh, you know uh, a, a bunch of guy a bunch of guys and gals to do this trip because um, y- you know I know that your staff they do a quality job. Now tell us a little bit about the Rivers program. What what uh, tell us? Uh, this is one I'm not as familiar with, but uh, hoping some some of them get excited about. It. We've had a lot of questions about it already too. So, the, the, the Rivers uh, program is actually part of the. I mean, I have to say that if I have two programs. I think our river trail is the actual strongest, but we have a rafting company. So this is oh, really yeah, good. that's right, yeah. <laughs> um, good point. Ads, I mean, and that's really our pattern. Um, it's probably one of the best weeks available in all scouting. Um, you really went through it. I'm not saying that show works here. And, and, um, <laughs> of course, of course. Sec- second it's only program. to Camp Sydney do, right? <laughs> it's a program I wish I had done when I was a scout. Um, ah, now, see, that's a telling one. That's, that's a good testimony for sure. Um, yeah. I mean, this is a chance. It's incredible. We, the scouts get to go on four different rivers during the week. You know, they start out, the first day, they're out on the, uh, on the Little Casey River at Fontana Lake. It's a lake day. So they're packing the skill, getting used to the boat, making stretches, and then they're getting to the other side. Then, they, uh, the next day, um, they have to then get to take the skills they learn in the small boats on the river. Uh, and they work on the Tucker Seat, the Nanahalo is the first day, on Tuesday, they do the Nanahalo. And we're working them through the river and letting them at their own pace, their own river, see what kind of equipment they're taking. Then uh, that Wednesday, we have to take them up to the Tucker Seat River. Okay, yeah. Which is outside of Whittier, uh, Whittier and Silva. Is that there? And that's actually really where paddle paddles, where we don't get to do that often. But we actually have really nice paddle down that river. Um, Wednesday, we do a... Um, Thursday we do more on the on the Nana Hill. That was really over really fine people's trip. I didn't run everything but the last rapid because we see they've left out on that last rapid. Right, yeah. But um we do really see what they're up for and then see how they're progressing. And then that Friday we have to take them over and they usually swim the river before they go back to camp. And that's a funny guy who's been running our rafts on the coast. But it's a great trip. You really get to see all the different kinds of white water and nobody uh, right. No, that's man. That does sound exciting. So I got to do, um, you know, some of these things when I was a scout. I, like I paddled okay. and kayaked the Tuckasegee River in my much younger days, Brad. By the way, that was <laughs> a long time ago. Uh, and and the Nanahala. That's probably the Nanahala. You know, kayaking, uh, rafting. I did the Okoe, but I I never kayaked. I guess on the Okoe, but. Uh, um, a lot of fun. If, if, if you've never done whitewater, beginners all the way through uh, are going to have a, a great time on this trip with the Whitewater Express guys, especially. Um, but four days on four different rivers, there's not, there, there's just nobody's doing that right now. Yep, and that segment was brought to you by the Camp Sydney Do Alumni Association, and making sure I turn my audio back on. Uh, but uh, at, at that the interview goes a little bit longer. We'll post actually the whole interview separately too. But I just wanted to make sure that we had that there because uh, Brad walked us through uh, quite a number of um, uh, things in the segment there, um, talking about the uh, talking about the Dew Mountain Extreme and Dew Mountain Rivers programs, both very fun. And then also talking about whitewater rafting on Wednesday. I'm going to talk about that a little bit, but uh, we'll we'll keep moving on in the slides and keep the program going because we're uh, uh, we're it's going to go a little long today. But anyway, the the third uh, the third trek that we offer called Dew Mountain Challenge. Uh, so the Dew Mountain Extreme program that's the one that he was talking about where they do horseback riding 
and mountain biking and hiking and the uh, Cope course up there. Uh, that all takes place, uh, the Dew Mountain Extreme takes place on the Okoe campus. The Dew Mountain Rivers program is based out of their Nanahalo campus, but they're going to go on four different rivers. They're going to be traveling around a lot, hitting the whitewater uh, areas up in North Georgia. Um, and then the Dew Mountain Challenge takes place a little closer to home. This one is based out of Camp Sydney Dew uh, and actually um, is, is, is a part of the Camp Sydney Dew program. So they'll start, they'll stay in camp on Sunday night. But Monday they do their shakedown and depart for the Pinhoe Trail uh, straight away from Camp City Dew. And, and the connection to that is, is, is about two or three miles down the road from Camp City Dew. Uh, but they'll probably be taken down to the trailhead there and hiking down uh, into the um, Johns Mountain uh, WMA section of the Pinhoti Trail, which is really awesome, beautiful trail, beautiful area. So that's a little bit of backpacking for a couple of days. Uh, as you can see, they'll be on the trail on Tuesday. They'll be on the trail on Wednesday, hiking back into camp on Wednesday afternoon, probably in time for Wagley Watermelon Wednesday and a chance to take a break, take a shower, uh, change out, pick up additional food and, and gear uh, for, for, for the remainder of the week. Um, they will camp in an off, uh, like kind of off-site location. They're not going to be camping necessarily with your troop there. Uh, they'll be camping off to the side on their own as as a as a trek expedition, uh, but but uh, close into camp, and then they'll have off trail adventures on Thursday and Friday, and they get to it's kind of a choose your own adventure thing. They'll get to coordinate this before they depart on um, before they depart on Monday. But we'll talk a lot about this. There's several different to choose from. There's a chance that they do multiple on each of the days. So. Um, uh, and, and here's just a short list of some of the possibilities, things that they might get to do. Um, and, and it depends on, you know, what, you know, what Thursday and Friday are like that day. Um, but we will go and do um, all, um, on campus um, excursions or adventures uh, during the day for the older guys in the Dew Mountain Challenge program. That's just a short walk through that program. It's it's new to us, too. Um, and so that, that we're, we're kind of building on that. Hopefully that, that'll be a fun and exciting experience. One thing I hope you heard, uh, from Brad there on the Dew Mountain Extreme and Rivers program is if we have one scout, if we have 21 scouts, we won't cancel and nothing's too big. There's no minimums and no limits, uh, on the number of scouts that are, that are allowed to go on that. And also another important thing to point out is that adults are encouraged to be a part of this experience with your scouts. Uh, but it's certainly not, uh, it's not necessary. It doesn't keep you from doing it. Um, if you, if you don't have any adults to go along with them. So no minimums, uh, the food is provided. I got that question in the Q and a last week. Um, food is provided for all three of these challenges. They don't need to bring their own food. Uh, it'll be planned and prepared for them, especially specifically for the trail. Uh, and if you have for, for Dew Mountain Challenge folks, if you have uh, food allergies or, or any of that, that sort, um, it, you just let us know in the same way that you would uh, and we'll prepare your food in, uh, in the best manner possible. A um, lot of time on the trail in these three treks involves, you know, the staff guide. Uh, a, a reflection each day. And so they take the time to make a connection to not only the adventure that they're doing, but the values of scouting. And I wanted you, I wanted to say that here at the end of this segment to let you know that it's not just, it's not just, um, it's not just a hiking trip that we're, we're actually going to get some ev really valuable scouting out of it uh, for the older scouts. And this is the time, this is the, the age that at which um, they, they can come together and, um, and, and do these sorts of things and challenge themselves in these sorts of ways. Speaking of challenge, let's move on. Wednesday, whitewater rafting is open for the whole troop. Take the whole troop rafting on the Nanahala. You'll depart after breakfast transporting yourself um, from Camp Sydney Dew to the Nanahala outpost uh, of Whitewater Express. Um, there's an optional lunch that's included, uh, if you order it by Sunday of your arrival. So you can order when you're purchasing, when you're doing this online, be sure to select if you want the whitewater raft Wednesday, whitewater rafting trip 
with lunch uh, because it is um, it, it's optional, but it's also an additional uh, fee. I think it's like seven dollars and fifty cents extra or something like that for the included lunch. You don't have to do that. If you decide not to, there's plenty of places to stop on the way or when you get there beforehand. But you do the, in your handout, it will tell you that there is a certain time that you got to be at the river by in order to get on the white water on uh, on time because the dam release only happens during certain hours of the day. Uh, also, register scouts online in the Tentaru package, uh, just like you did your merit badges. And then this includes a special patch. So it's a it's an exclusive Camp Sydney Dew whitewater rafting trip patch just for those guys. Let's talk a little bit about COPE. We'll move right into it. Uh, and as we were talking about in the previous segment, you know, this is about challenging yourself. This is for um, scouts and adults, and we do have to meet a minimum in order to provide the program. Uh, it's best to work with a group of about eight uh, to about 12. So uh, the more the merrier um, and uh, hoping we can get uh, as many older scouts and adults involved in challenging outdoor personal experience is uh, a lot of excitement. I personally went through it. So did Joey Harris, who's on our show, Sydney Do Live. Uh, if, if you've seen him, uh, we went through the program, uh, actually the training program to be trained uh, COPE staffers. Uh, and so, so Joey Harris is actually going to be on the staff. Um, but we, we went through that training. It's a lot of fun. Those guys are really exciting uh, to be around. That's some exciting, uh, an exciting way to do scouts and adventure. Um, and if you're into doing a high adventure, uh, but you don't want to, you know, leave or go on an extended trek away from camp, or you want to end up uh, staying in the campsite at night with your troop, COPE and Climbing Merit Badge, these, th these are the ones that you want to do. So COPE, COPE is in the morning, three periods all five days. And then climbing merit badge is a five day course also, uh, which takes place in the afternoon. Um, that, you know, a lot of people don't know anything about challenging outdoor personal experience often referred to as high ropes or low ropes and high ropes course. Um, that we, we refer to it in scouting as cope, uh, or challenging outdoor personal experience. It starts with the lower elements, uh, building teamwork and trust. And then we work our way up as we've built confidence in each other and ourselves. Um, we'll learn, you know, other skills, learning climbing and belaying skills, because we'll have to, you know, that that's what the trust part of it is, because is we'll be belaying each other in the course as well. And then building confidence and character along with your teammates throughout the week, the uh, end of the week with the high course is, and it's all challenged by choice, but um, specifically at the end, uh, the, the, the high course is very challenging, um, and, and exciting. It's kind of one of the things that everybody looks forward to, but also got to be able to trust the people that you're working with. Uh, so the people that are on your team in cope, uh, you'll be relying on and just take a look at this video here. This is the low element called the trust fall where a scout is standing on the high post and relies on the team. But this is kind of a trust thing for the team too, because they, yeah, that's the first time they've ever done it as well. Uh, nervous about catching um, the participant, but the participant nervous about them catching uh, her as well. So um, that's kind of, a, you know, that's that's like one of the highlight features of the of the uh, lower elements. But um, uh, not to give too much away about that, but that that was called the trust fall. And this is just a guy walking across a beam. He's on belay. That's his buddy belaying him there. Uh, it takes a lot of trust. He's he's just literally balancing on this beam on belay on this rope with the one guy uh, belaying. And those are some of the skills that we learn in working with each other. That's part of the, the challenging outdoor personal experience that we take part in at Camp City Dude. So a lot of fun and a lot of cool people to work with down there. While we're talking to our older scouts and I've got your attention, I just wanted to, uh, um, you know, it, this is one of those while I've got you here moments uh, now 23 minutes into the broadcast. We are hiring currently and still and uh, specifically the areas of lifeguards. We're hiring lifeguards and guard personnel and aquatics personnel. Uh, you can, uh, in that job, you can be trained uh, in your position during our staff training week. We're hiring a head steward for our uh, updated and, and uh, new dining hall operation in the Saul Dining Hall at Camp Sydney Dew. Uh, still looking for some ecology and conservation instructors, trek guides. We've hired several trek guides, but we need a few more. Um, and of course, shooting sports because of our expanded um, offerings and, and the ability to offer things during a global pandemic. We have to have a few more staff members in support 
of the shooting sports area. And so we're still hiring in those areas. If you're interested in working and you're of age and qual and a qualified scout register, uh, through our application process in the link tree there. There's a QR code, scan that with your phone or hit it up at linktr.ee slash sydneydo. It's all over our social media, but we are still hiring and you can get an interview this week live uh, via Zoom with uh, me or any either of the key three uh, staff members uh, and come join the team. Uh, here at Camp City Do, we're doing some exciting things this year. You know, um, this is kind of a subset part. The uh, Sydney Do tutorial is a part of the Sydney Do Live series, which broadcasts weekly on Sundays on our Facebook page on Facebook Live. If you haven't found us there, go to Facebook and type in the search bar Camp Sydney Do. That's us. Uh, and then um, uh, give us a like, share the the uh, broadcasts or the videos if you like them. Share this one to your uh, content feed if you like. It helps scouts find the information uh, that may be valuable to them uh, in, in the future. So stay tuned with us, Sydney Do Live, every single Sunday. In between Sydney Do Live episodes with Joey and Joey and Daniel is the Sydney Do Sunday broadcast. But on Sydney Do Live features Joey Fletcher who has the news and notes every single week to keep you updated and informed. Joey Harris always covers the top five. And if you missed this past week's, go, by, back, go back and watch the City Do Live episode, uh, volume four of Joey Harris's top five merit badges that you need to survive a Komodo dragon attack. Uh, and then, of course, in between Sydney Do Live episodes is the Sydney Do Sunday broadcast and today's broadcast called Sydney Do Live Tutorial. Thank you again for joining us. And we hope you found value in uh, all of the videos that you see on our channel. Uh, if you have any um, suggestions of videos that you think we should cover um, or if, if you uh, have any other uh, comments that you'd like to share, share them down in the comments here. We'll post all of the links to uh, anything pertinent in our video today in the description below. And I'm going to put some boxes up here with some videos that I think you should go watch after this one. But stay with us here on the Sydney Do Live channel. Thanks again for joining us.